Time for Pops to catch a big in the day. Let's go get him, man. That's the whole goal. We're fishing around Big O today. He's in front of us. Let's get to it, baby. Which way you want? Uh, sounds good. Just had one blow up over here. Good one. Hooked. Got one. There you go, pops. Oh yeah. First one of the day, getting it done. Big C LFD. Look at that with the background. Hey man, you got the feel for that spinner bait now? I do, man. Slow rolling. Ah, that's right, right off the trees. That's what we did all last time. There's Big O over there. He gave a little instruction last night on the spinner bait, and there we go. Return it to the depths. We got it. It's always nice when they have a little kaplunk when they go in the water instead of just like a little splish. I was on the bushes. I slowed down. I felt it, it kind of tug on the branches and I kind of twitched it off of them and boom, slammed it. <laughs> I can't wait, I gotta do another one. I am so happy he got that fish. It's not a giant fish, but I tell you what that just did in his brain, because it did this to me last time. Fishing the spinnerbait's really different down here. I'm not gonna show you that again unless it just it gets insane. On my end, I wanna try to show you guys something different. When you're down there in that brush and you feel it and you get that bite, then you're like, all right it only takes one where you're like okay i figured i figured it out now i know what they're doing and then you can continue that and perfect it we got fish jumping out here time to get my bait in the water we're supposed to be on that point well that was a good one that little tree deserves a jig right in the middle Oh my gosh. That's not what you expect when you throw into a 13 foot tree. There's, there's got to be a big one on that ledge. I'd let your spinnerbait sink the cast behind. Oh gosh. Big one just slurped my thing. Oh, get take it under. Little one. I saw him in the shallows. I saw movement on that point. I wasn't sure. No! What are you doing? Another one. Little one. Now, why couldn't those big ones slurp it in like that? Well, our blue herds back home would already be flying off. Going wah, wah, wah. Oh. Got him. Another little attacker. This is a feisty one. Dad's got a fish. What do you got, man? Has it, has it got some shoulders? Yes, it does. Oh, yeah, it's pulling good. It's got some weight. Don't let him whoop your butt now. Remember to watch that motor. Oh, decent fish there, yeah. Yes! Give it a sniff. There you go. <laughs> That's oh, it. God, it smells good. I know it does. It's <laughs> you... the first time I've ever smelled that. It doesn't it smell sweet? <laughs> Tell the fishing freaks what they're missing out on. Hey, you need to get one and give it a whiff. Yeah. All right. Hey, good job, man. See, I was catching all those little ones on that point, and you were slower on that spinnerbait down there. And... Well, bam. Koichi wood chickens are uh, serenading us here in the spot. There's a fish. Oh, he came off. That was a nice one. 
Never even got a hook penetration on him. There's almost no bite marks on it except for the very top of the head, which tells me he basically just freaking slurped through the whole thing. Not the Mondo bite I was hoping for there. Dang, I need some braid. I'm not getting a good connection here. A little fatter one there. Oh, get him, Dad. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good fish. I don't know. I don't think he's still there. He's gone? I think he's gone. He's good. That's two big ones right there we've lost. I'm gonna go check out this other little island, see what the depth is over here. This may be all a flat. We have the big one. It's a tasty one. Had it choked. Ooh, that might be a better one. There you go, doubled up. There's mine. Dad's got another one, a little bit bigger. I think this is a good alternative to the spinnerbait while it's calm. Mm -hmm. There you go, Dad. Yes! 447. Oh. Four and a half? <laughs> <laughs> May not want to put them on the scale next time. It's too big, man. <laughs> Skinny. Oh my god, look at that rock. Come on, Dad. Get him up, get him up, get him up, get him up. Try him, try him. Yes! There you go. I'm bigger than that last one. Yeah. Batter. He's probably about five. I would say he's six. <laughs> See his tail? It's bloody. Bloody tail. 535. 535. I thought it was a 10. Oh, that's, that's a bass. Oh, there's a good one. There's a good one there. Come here, baby. I feel those head shakes. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Man, they're just killing this swim bait right now while it's calm. I think I need a lip one, you know, just for, just for effect here. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice fish. Nice fish there. Boom. That's a nice fish. What do you think, Dad? Let's test. You think he's pushing six? Six and a half. I'm gonna say he might be over six. That's a six pounder. See you, baby. We got some fish right here on this island that are, uh, they're using it to rush these tilapia. Every once in a while we'll see a swirl up there. I'm halfway tempted to throw, oh, got him right there. That's a big one, right under the boat. Oh my gosh, I watched him eat it. That was freaking cool. Case in point. Yeah, it's just about like the last one. Yeah. Yeah, we'll net him. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> I think it I think it is bigger. Yeah, buddy. Oh yeah, that one's got girth. I can feel it. Well, this is almost seven. Six eighty-seven. Right. Time out just to show you the rig in here, guys. This is the uh, boot tail live magic shad. Quarter ounce flashy swimmer. Now I was throwing this in the previous video with a little uh, skinny dipper on it, which is pretty good, but they're just rushing these tilapia in here. We're literally seeing that happen. This right here, this is watermelon pearl belly and it's imitating these tilapia better. They're really liking this. 
a little chartreuse dip on the tail. That's good to go. Typically, this would be an awesome spinnerbait area. You know, Steve's actually caught, he's over there, he's caught two eights already on spinnerbaits. But this morning we had that cloud cover. We had a little bit of wind. Right now, it's flat calm. Very good alternative when you don't have that, uh, those windy conditions to really break up the, the water surface. That thing just, whoo, baby. That looks like sweet butter biscuits right there. In the spring, you got so many male bass coming in and out. Uh, Pre-spawn, post-spawn, they'll stay up there. And then they just kind of stay up there and feed sometimes. So you get a lot of little bites. And then the bigger fish are almost always out a little bit. Oh, there's a good one. That's a head shaker there, baby. God, he thumped it good. There's just no question. It's not that big. Oh, I think there's another one with it, Dad. Yeah. You want to drop your thing right here? I don't see him anymore. Yeah. Hit it like a champion. There we go. Thank you to Mr. Ronnie Parker, Lake Fork Trophy Lures, for giving me a big sack of those. It is kind of good. Look at him. Skinny. Flacco. Just your run in the mill sixer. Now we're at ramming speed, you know? Yeah, now we're doing something here. I came over the top of a tree, I let it fall. Oof. Dad getting one on that swimmer. Not that big. Not, see, there you go. He's not that big now is what he's saying. He's not that big. It's just one of them threes, one, one of those pesky threes. He's finally connected with Lake Comodero. I love it. Get you a sniff. Isn't that sweet? It is. Might as well smell them every time. Oh, hey now. There's another one of those little pesky ones. <laughs> I think LFD's having a good time. Oh, get him up. Get him up. No, he's still on there. Oh, it is a good size one. There you go. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Tangled you up, but you got him out like a champion. Got him out. Way to go, Dad. <sighs> nice one. <laughs> Might want to retie up that one. Just yeah. saying. Oh, yeah. Got a little jig fish on my line. Come here. Come here. Doing a little flipping as the sun comes out, just transitioning. Oh, why can't you be a giant? Oh, man, it was just deep down in there and got to the bottom and there was a thump. That was a good stretch right there. Good run. Man, that little swim bait on the flashy swimmer, it's just, it's the deal right now. Whoop, sorry, a little out of focus there. We're starting to get a little bit of wind. You know, the big thing is that spinner bait. That's where you catch the Mondo. So uh, I think we're gonna go out to some main lake areas where there's gonna be more wind uh, out there in the open water and try to get a big spinner bait get, bite going for old pops here. Good. He sucked it. He ho hey yeah! Look at that net job. We were kind of working our way back in that pocket. I was like, nah, you know what? I kind of like the main leg part better. Looks better, feels better. More biggins out there. Came back and let it drop down that little rock face and kerplunk. That's a big one. I couldn't even reel him. Look at that. That's a fat one. Oh, man. Gracias, senor. I was like, yikes. It's just a five. Don't be lying to me. You better get him up. 
Dad's hooked up on the spinner. LFD. This could be the one. Oh, that's a nice fish, Dad. That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh my gosh, that's a good one. That's the biggest one of the day. Get him in there. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> nice one there, Bob. That's a Mondo. Hey, look what you caught it on. Oh my god. Look what you caught it on. Woo! Just like Big O said. Yeah! Look at that, baby. Show the fishing freaks. <laughs> That's what I'm talking Woo! about. Wait a minute. Here we go. There. I'm scared of you. Bite my head off. There you go. <sighs> oh my God. What a nice fish. Grande. Yeah. Man, that's a stud. That's a stud. <sighs> yeah! There we go. 8-2. Yeah! 8-20. 8-20. 8-20. There you go. So that's about four ounces right there. Eight pounds, four ounces. Dad? Not my PB, but pretty close. That's an awesome fish. Yep. Good to go. <laughs> How about that, fishing freaks? Closing in at the end of the day here and Pops pulls off eight pound, four ouncer on that spinner bait. It just catches big ones. That is 100% an eight pounder, an Ocho -oh killer. I wanted dad to catch a big one on it and he already has. He just needs a few more ounces to catch that PB, but today has been awesome. We're gonna continue fishing around this point. We've probably got another hour and a half left of daylight. Rocks with a drop off and 12 foot. Knocks it out of the park, 12 foot. That's where all the big fish have come from. So keep the lure in that 12 foot zone and watch what happens. There's another fish. There's definitely a pattern going on here. I see another fish right there on the graph, right here on the end. There we go. You look at the fish's tail, how torn up it is and everything. Oh, it's like a five. As you can see from this beautiful peachy glow, time to wrap up the day. The views at this place are freaking nuts. I mean, I don't know if the camera can really do it justice here. We'll just look off into the distance. Look at that. I mean, that's majestic. I think upon this majesticness, it's a good time to do a wrap up. What do you think, Pops? I think so, go for it. It's been a heck of a day, Dad. It's been great. I mean, Came out here to to catch a mondo. It's you know been wanting to take my dad down here ever since we came down, and uh, so this was a this is a Christmas gift to my pops, the guy that got me into fishing. I think we had at least a dozen over five. Oh it's yeah, really really good ones. This makes you already want to book another trip. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, you know what I mean. Happy you have a day like today. I don't know what to say. It's a special moment with my dad, uh, LFD. He got me into fishing. Um, now, years later, I'm taking him on a fishing trip, trying to break his personal best. We came really, really close today. The spinner bait, of course, was talked about. You learned it, you got yep. it down, you got the feel, and uh, big things happened today on the lake. So, make sure to subscribe to the channel, guys, and go ahead and hit the like button for some father son greatness. One more time, we're coming out here, so stay tuned, fishing freaks. I'll catch you on the next one.